They are the various faces of Nadal Malik Hassan, the cheerful one Kim Rosenthal knew in passing at their Texas apartment complex. He was always very happy and, um, and very friendly. And the one another neighbor says dropped by out of the blue this week to give away his belongings, like chairs and clothes, some fresh from the cleaners, emptying out his apartment after saying he was being deployed Friday, when in reality he was in the early stages of preparing for deployment. Then there's the Hassan a former supervisor says had problems with patients while treating them at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center. And the Hassan federal authorities caught wind of months ago when his name showed up on radical internet postings. A cousin says Hassan was mortified by his actual deployment orders. A psychologist who deals with war vets says as an army psychiatrist, he'd know the scars of war well. He's hearing the stories of people coming back over and over, which can be in and of itself traumatic. Hassan had argued with fellow soldiers over the war's merits. But at the Maryland mosque where he attended prayers before moving to Texas, people who knew him said that did not come up. He never talked about anything about politics or anything. He never talked about it. I mean, others we talk about what's happening going in Iraq, everywhere, but he does not. At this point, Hassan remains a suspect only. We don't know all the answers yet. And I would caution against jumping to conclusions until we have all the facts. In an investigation, authorities say won't be quick. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, Washington.